Number 33, a car traveling 56 km per hour is 24 meters from a barrier when the driver slams on the brakes. The car hits the barrier two seconds later. Letter A, what is the magnitude of the car's constant acceleration before impact? So we want to know the acceleration of the car and the, the problem here says that the acceleration is constant. And when the acceleration is constant, there are three different equations that we can use. Those equations are x equal to x0 plus v0t plus at squared over 2. We also have v equals to v0 plus at and v squared equals to v0 squared plus 2 times a delta x. So those are the three equations that we can use when the acceleration is constant and, and only if the acceleration is constant, right? So which of these equations will we use in this exercise over here? So the technique that I use, I just mark the, the things that I don't know. So let's see, for example, the final velocity. I don't know the final velocity, so let me circle it. The initial velocity, I do know over here. The acceleration, I don't know the acceleration, and the time it took to hit the barrier, I know it's two seconds. Let, let's see this one here. The final velocity, I don't know. The initial velocity, I know. The acceleration, I don't know. And delta x, I know, because it's 24 meters, right? So the final position, I know, it is 24 meters. The initial one, I can say it's zero, so I, uh, I know that as well. The initial velocity, I know, it's this one over here. The time it took to hit the barrier, I know it's two seconds. The only thing that I don't know is the acceleration over here. So if you circle the, 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 the variables that you don't know, it's really simple to notice which equation you have to use. So if I want to know the acceleration, which equation should I use? This one over here, right? It's the only one that the acceleration uh, is the, the only thing that you don't know in the equation. So this is the, the, the equation that we you, we will use in letter A. So let's isolate the acceleration over here. Let's rewrite the equation x equals to x0 plus v0t plus at squared over 2. Let's say that the initial position is 0, so we cross out the x0. So x equals to v0t plus a t squared over 2, x minus v 0 t equals to a t squared over 2, so the acceleration is 2 times x minus v 0 t divided by t squared. So we just have to replace the variables by numbers here. However, the velocity, the initial velocity is not in meters per second, so let's divide it by 3.6, so the initial velocity is 56 kilometers per hour, which is the same as roughly, let's see, 15.55 meters per second. So just replacing the variables by numbers, we will have two times the initial position is zero the final position is 24 minus the velocity which is 15.55 times the, the time it took it's two seconds over two squared and if you do this calculation over here you would find minus 3.56 meters per second square so this is the acceleration of the car this is the answer of letter a letter b how fast is the car traveling at impact so in this case we are we just calculated the acceleration so now we know the acceleration over here so let me uncheck the those variables to the acceleration because we do know the acceleration right now so if we want to know the final velocity, we can use either this equation over here or this equation over here, because now we know the acceleration. Let me choose the, the first one because it's easier to work with. So the 
the, the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus acceleration uh, times two seconds. So the final velocity would be 15.55 minus 3.56 times 2. And this is equals to 8.43 meters per second. This is the answer of letter B.